hide that. In this video we are going to try and make some fidget spinners from these uh, dead hard drives. Uh, most likely uh, everybody has one of these uh, somewhere at home or has a friend that has a dead hard drive uh, somewhere. First of all you need to uh, open this thing up. So remove, in this case, uh, remove uh, all these uh, stickers. Hopefully I can do it with one hand. Probably not. So I'll be back in a second. But most hard drives have uh, the screws uh, already inside, so you can undo them directly. But this one, as you can see, has a sticker all around it. So let me get rid of that really fast. Okay, most people like this, so... That didn't go quite uh, as planned, but at least we have two screws uh, inside. First the hard drive opened up and clearly we have a really nice bearing in here. This is uh, meant to take uh, a really high RPM, so no problem there. Let's get this uh, turned down even further. Not all hard drives are uh, built in the same way. In this one, uh, as you can see from this side, you cannot get to the bearing. So we are going to open up uh, the other side also. Okay, as you can see, we could already start uh, to use this thing. But uh, this is basically a motor. It has some magnets inside and those magnets prevent it from uh, turning for a really long time. When I turn it like this in idle mode, it will actually produce a voltage. So, yeah, that's not what we want. We want it to turn for as long as possible. So I'm going to try and uh, tear it down even more. Of course, again, some hard drives are way more uh, simple to turn down than these ones. These are pretty old hard drives. So yeah, let's continue. This thing didn't want to play nicely, so I brought out the big guns. And we are still not uh, opened up as much as I want. So I'm going to try and remove even more in here. Okay, we made some progress. As you can see, uh, this part is removed. This is removed. We don't need those. Uh, actually, this is some decent uh, wire, for my projects <laughs> it will be good. And uh, we get this thing, as you can see it's spinning uh, freely. And let me just show you. Although it's, uh, it isn't properly balanced yet, you can see it tends to spin a lot. Let me try and spin it a bit faster. So this thing balanced, good. And uh, I will do about the same thing with the other one and then sandwich them uh, all together so I can hold on to this thing at the end on both sides. Something like that. And that should be pretty decent. So let's continue with the second one. For the second one it was even easier because I learned how to do it in the first one. Actually, as they are together like this, you just need to hit it hard in the center right there. So the whole thing pops out like this. So now you have uh, this little thing. And it's in way better shape than the other one, which I don't see this very moment, but I'm going to see it one second. Okay, <laughs> this is the first one, as you can see it's pretty roughed up, but I'm going to use a file and uh, yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. And this is my plan, something like this, with these two sandwiched in the middle, of course. So let's do that. Okay. 
Next I'm going to put uh, all these things back together with some uh, super glue and see how they work. Basically I'm going to put super glue around here and a bit on this edge so these things uh, glue to the edge. And uh, yeah, that should be about it. Hopefully it will be okay. Okay, first step finished. Spindles are glued to the motors. And I found out the reason why one of these hard drives failed. This bearing isn't perfect. So it was clearly not spinning as it should. The other one, on the other hand, is way better. But yeah, it will still work. And hopefully if I play around with it for a long time, this one will also get better. So let's put, put glue in here now. While the glue is drying on the fidget, uh, I found out that this thing actually has uh, another bearing right here. It was for this uh, read and write arm. So this also should be a really good bearing. And uh, let me just throw this away. Be very careful when you take out these bearings because if you hit them too hard, you will damage them. So I don't know, it's better to push them somehow or to have something that goes uh, on the outside of the bearing and push on the outside, not on the inside. And of course, we will reuse this uh, really, really strong hard drive magnets and some other things. So, yeah, I'm going to get this one out and then test the fidget. Okay, guys, the glue is dried up and it's working. It's not a particularly fast one. It has a little bit of a wobble, as you can see. Uh, that is probably due to the uh, bad bearing and maybe a little bit of uh, misalignment when I glued these two parts together. So if you will do this, be very careful when you glue them together, they need to be perfectly centered. Maybe use a glue that's not drying uh, as quickly uh, on contact as uh, super glue because that allows you to uh, make sure they are way better centered than mine but then again there is no other fidget spinner like this one because I made this one myself and uh, yeah with good and bads it's mine so what can I say thanks for watching uh, like dislike subscribe and see you again in the next one, maybe with a new fidget project. Bye!